All right, so since I don't have an electric starter yet for the Cub Cadet, uh, many people will run into hassles like this where they try to work on an engine, but they don't have a uh, working recoil or a starter. So uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick how to make your own uh, electric starter uh, with a drill. So first off, I'm going to start by showing you guys. Uh, this is a and this is an extension for a 3 8 drive socket. Now I have a lathe, so I mean I I can do it much easier on the lathe, but I can be done without a lathe. Just pretty much anything to actually just cut the end off of this right here. That's all you want to do. And stick this pretty much since it's 3 8 stick this into a drill. Uh, if you have like a half inch drill, you can actually fit this or a three quarters drill. You could actually just uh, grind this down and give it a rough texture and actually mount it up and install a socket. Now this is the socket that I'm going to be using is a 15. It's a metric 15 millimeter on this Riggs and Stratton. This is a good little project for engines that uh, people who have their engines, they don't, they're tired of pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and you know, they just want to do it an easier way. And um, it's a pretty good idea for small uh, machine, I mean small repair shops or small engine repair shops. Um, so this 15 millimeter fits right on the socket here. Now what I'm gonna do is put this thing on the lathe and I'm gonna turn this end down and so I can fit my 3 8 drill. Because my drill, it's a dual one. Um, for some reason it has a 3 8 chuck, which pretty much sucks, but um, it does a job, so I don't have to destroy this socket extension, but it's alright, I'm going to use the crappiest one that I have anyways, and I think this might even be a, I don't know, it's an off brand, it's not like a name brand or anything like that, so I'm going to get to cutting this up and I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so I finally finished with the uh, extension. Here it is, it's pretty rough. That's what I wanted, a rough cut anyways. So I can actually grip on the uh, jaws inside of the, the drill chuck. So it's gonna mount to this 15 millimeter that I have here, and I'm gonna be mounting this to my drill now. So. so just pretty much mount it up, tighten it real tight. So you don't want this thing uh, slipping in there. It, it can actually mess up the jaws inside the chuck. So I'm going to give this a try and we'll see how it comes out. I don't think it's going to start. It's, I don't think it has any gas in there, but just for demonstration purposes. So that's the way it's done. Um, you don't have to actually go and buy like a three, four hundred dollar starter um, like they got out on the internet um, or like go-kart um, accessories shops whatever they want to call them, but uh, it's just done with a drill, it's pretty much simple as that. The socket is still actually usable, just take that off, this thing will have it for life. And uh, I actually had another one, but I lost it, but I'm going to make sure to save this one, I'll bunch it real good, because I always destroy all my tools every time I need to make one of these things up. But yeah, that's the way it's done. Many Briggs and Strattons, um, you could do the same thing, you can actually find a socket that will actually fit on the uh, starter, instead of using a recoil, um, say you have to do a compression test or something. Um, you can just get a socket and do the same thing like that. You can actually use like a larger, like half inch extension and get away with it and just stick to something. Or you can make an adapter of some sort of thing here. You don't have to go uh, like an extreme measure like I just did with threads. Get on there. Because after this, after I remove that, I'm going to have to uh, take that out and pretty much recap the hole. That's why I'm going to go in 2D. So I can be able to retap or chase the threads pretty much. Uh, I don't, it's not stripped or anything. But yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know what I guess I could, I mean, I could call it the uh, small engine electric starter or the uh, do-it-yourself electric starter, but anyways, I want to thank you guys as always for watching my videos, and until next time, thanks for watching.